Hi Pisces, welcome to your bi-weekly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Also, I want to tell you that for this bi-weekly, I'll be doing a love relationship dynamic focus as we are approaching Valentine's Day. And not because I give any sense of value and significance to the day itself, but because it's very interesting how as a conscious collective that we are, we put massive amounts of attention and focus in this day upon love and relationships. So it's a very interesting time to question our own desires and needs and natures in terms of love and what we expect of our partners and as well in trying to understand them as a mirror of our own selves. So more than telling you that your relationship will end, a new relationship will begin or you will find your perfect soulmate, I'm much more interested in putting you as an individual in the center of your own life. And so by doing so, you can become empowered and in strength of whatever challenges and whatever situations you are facing in terms of relationships. And many times this is a pill hard to swallow because we don't want to take responsibility for our own issues. And so we tend to project the insecurities, the hurts, the conditioning, into the other being that has their own projected onto us. So the more we try to understand these dynamics and we try to, to uh, enlarge our scopes of understanding of humans, uh, of the humanity itself, the human psychology itself, we can then expect that we can actually engage in much more healthy conscious relationships. So I want to clarify that, as you know, my own approach, the, the my approach is the same as you see in the other videos. It's just for this time, I'll be focusing more on love and relationships to give a little bit of a different taste uh, this time and to indulge in a little bit of curiosity to see what your sign has showing up here. So right away, there's the sense of you looking looking for answers, looking for love, looking for understanding what went wrong in other relationships, looking to understand the changes that happen within a relationship, what they're about to happen, and a sense of you taking a lot of time with yourself to dive deep into this realization, this spiritual realization of the meaning of love and relationships in your life. So everything that I was just saying, it's really here showing up in your reading. It's not that a part of us or a part of you is not a longing. It is for a love that it's beyond this world. So the type of fairy tale love, a love that uh, it goes beyond the physical limitations your spiritual soulmate, twin flame, whatever you believe, you are, but more than that, you are diving deep. You have the seeker, beautiful card, the tarot reader. You have the seeker in the current position or the hermit. So right now you are going through a period of more loneliness or more time on your own than exactly engaging on relationships. And you are taking this time really to focus on things that you've learned so far and things that you still need to understand in order to move on to something great. Because you do have a lot of positive cards, but also because this is next to the tower or in this deck, the eruption. Maybe you're trying to understand what went wrong in your uh, last relationships or things that are out of balance or uh, intense uh, tension mode right now in a specific relationship that you have and that you felt the need to withdraw or why if you do not if you don't if you don't have anybody specifically in your life right now why you constantly feel this 
this hot and cold type of energy between wanting to be on your own, waiting for someone that might never come or love that might never exist and at the same time wanting something much more quick and raw and, and intense and passionate. There's a sense of, there's something here that it's needed, you need to understand the release process, you, the, the, the change process, the the outburst, the orgasm process itself, which is about there's no control. And then you, when you, we quit control, we can get to that state of orgasm and we can get to that state of ecstasy and the feeling of beyond this world. But when we allow that energy to flow free, because when we try to control it, you cannot feel it in the same way. And what you feel and what you end up building up is tension. A lot of tension. At the same time, it may be that you are finding hard to be alone or be, in your, be on your own at this time because relationships are in your mind, definitely. You have here crowning the, the Two of Cups. So there's, an, there's a, a relationship that could be growing or could be developing or in your mind there's a sense that you really are ready, you really want to try again, you really want to find someone. Uh, but at the same time, maybe you haven't been with someone for a while and you feel that maybe you don't know, you don't know anymore how to do it. You don't know anymore how to engage in a relationship as before. I feel that you have been quite on your own for some time, for some of you. And then something happens and it changes here the scenario of your peace. And it brings forward a possibility of a relationship. A possibility of someone entering your life that could bring you a sense of ecstasy, of eruption, and at the same time of oneness. Which is a beautiful card that you also have showing up here. Because I think that emotionally you have been maturing. So you have been putting a lot of focus, because you also have here in the past, the recent past, the Nine of Pentacles, which usually is a beautiful card, but it's more of a lone wolf card. So you have been putting focus on your own, establishing yourself, securing yourself, providing for yourself, nurturing, enjoying life, the good things of life, and taking that this cycle of completion, it's two nines. But you have been a lot on your own, doing your work, doing your answers, doing your study, doing your dive deep, doing your analysis. And now there's a change here. There's an eruption. There's something that builds up and it's, it's, it, it, it explodes to create a sense of steam back into your life, maybe. Unconsciously in the foundation, you do have the Maiden of Wands or the Page of Wands, definitely. This, this tower that you are perceiving as challenging is bringing back a spark, a flame of passion, a feeling of engaging back again into your desires, into your passions, into things that make you want to feel alive and to experience love and partnerships in a much more open, spontaneous, dynamic way because the seeker and um, the Hermit are very withdrawn characters, very serious, very in their space. They are night creatures. Here it's about daylight. It's about adventure, exploring, fun, going after what you want, going after your desires and your impulses. So maybe you are having a hard time fighting your urges, fighting your impulses, or you see them as threatening in some way, but they are bringing and crowning you, they're bringing you two beautiful things. First, two of cups, a union of souls, a balance, harmonious relationship, a union of your masculine and feminine, feminine side, if you are not in a relationship, if you're not interested in anybody, but there's a sense that there's beauty coming together. There's beauty in feelings and emotions that are allowing you, if not 
love in terms of a person, an intimate partner, is bringing love and passion as creative, as imagination, as spiritual back to your life. And you are in a deep need to engage in this kiss from uh, the universe to go beyond your states of depression or more loneliness. And as well, in the near future, having here the oneness, which is a beautiful card. It's one of, this is my favorite card of this deck. So definitely you are completing something. You are in a cycle of your life that is about, in terms of relationships, that is about upgrade. It's about completion, endings, and new beginnings. And this is an ending that's an ending on a good note. Finding your world, finding that that piece that was missing to make sense in terms of your love nature and your love desires and your the partnerships that you have with you. And so this oneness always also can mean that you will engage in a relationship that it feels as one. That is very complementary, that it's very emergent, it's type of a emerging a fusion of energies that merges you physically, but as well mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And it brings you back to this sense of fulfillment with the world. First, your, your own world on your own, and then joining your world with another person's world and creating a third life out of it, which is magic, which is that love, that greatness of intimate love, of partnering up, of growing and learning with someone else. So definitely there's something here coming up about uh, an issue of a relationship that wants to be completed or you are in a process of completing a cycle of your life in terms of love nature, in terms of relationships, and you are about to begin a new one. And this new one is full of good energy because, again, you are much more mature, you are much more wise, you have your expectations and your ideals much more in balance and in place. And now you have gained a sense of really what you are looking for. Even if you are still diving into answers, you are now understanding and not settling for less. There's a lack of, there's a need of a real, a real bond and a real togetherness with yourself and with others happening. So really coming here in the near future, there's this huge maturity. You are maturing. This phase of more loneliness, or more on your own, was to give you the sense of maturity and backbone and ability to understand that you don't need an intimate partnership to be happy, but you do need to love, to love yourself, to breathe love, to talk love on your own. And that's what you were after. To see love as a concept beyond just another human being. To see love and to give love much more freely, without expectations, without demands, without obligations. So maybe you are learning. You are still learning. You are studying about what love means to you. And how it encompasses not just one person, but all of us together. But either way, there's a real sense and possibility that you are you are about to achieve a very important stage of your life. If you are in a relationship, it means that this relationship is growing. Even if you are in a much more, in a, right now in a more cold period or more detached period, it will grow into something closer again, something much more closer than before. If you are, if you are interested in someone but not in a relationship, it could have a real potential to understand the union of your masculine and feminine energies, of complements, of mirrors. It has a quality of mirror to it, which sometimes can be difficult to deal with, but it makes you grow and really appreciate the beauty that you can see in each other and the opportunity to develop something, to be at large, be, be part of each other's world and be bigger and brighter because of that. Not because you don't recognize your own value alone, but because you understand that together they, the value itself becomes even more higher. And if you don't have anybody, it's simply you are ending a phase of your life 
that was about study, knowledge, understanding, the love within you and the love outside of you as a conscious effort and a conscious a conscious understanding that it's it's in it, it's in everything, it's about everyone, not just about our own personal needs, and sometimes it's hard to accept. But you were you were seeing love or you are prone to see love for the weeks to come with a bigger picture, with a bigger bigger vision, which can encompass the world. So love for your fellow humans, love for your animals, love for anything that's around nature. And by this um, spiritual vision, by this raising of vibrations, you can attract someone that it feels like that perfect match because you are you are attracting the same vibration that you are putting out there. So it's very interesting and very promising in terms of opportunity to grow and merge as well. There's a sense of merging, fusion with another being. So yeah, it seems pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Just don't don't resist or don't be afraid to open up again to someone or to the idea of love or to the idea of relationship even if you have been on this stage of your own for a long time be mindful of where you might be putting yourself too much aside and not allowing yourself to feel and love and enjoy that feeling with trust so Pisces, I wish you a great, great time. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and hopefully we'll see each other soon.